Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on SIRDS. This is the third video on this topic, so if you've not watched the first two yet, then I suggest you watch those first. Uh, but here we're going to look at a skill called rationalising the denominator. Now there's two types of questions you'll see. Uh, one's fairly straightforward, the other one's slightly more difficult. Uh, but we'll start off looking at the more simple example. So if we have a over root b, uh, so here we've got a, a SIRD on the denominator, we want to rewrite this expression in a form uh, where we don't have the SIRD on the denominator. So SIRDs are ir irrational numbers, so removing the SIRD from the denominator is known as rationalising the denominator. So how are we going to do this? Uh, well, we can multiply this by root b over root b. So uh, root b over root b is just equal to 1. Uh, so uh, the two terms cancel and you just get 1. So we're essentially just multiplying the whole fraction here by 1. Uh, but if we use our rules of fractions, this is a root b over root b times root b, which using the rules from the first video, uh, this simplifies to a root b over root b times b, or uh, a root b over the square root of b squared. So this is just a root b over b. So this is known as rationalizing the denominator. As I say, all we've done is remove the third from the denominator, uh, but the value here is just the same as it was to begin with. So let's move on to the more complicated example. So this is where we're rationalizing the denominator, uh, but the denominator is made up of more than just a third. So as an example, let's use five over three plus root five. So uh, to rationalize the denominator here, we need to multiply this by a fraction, and that fraction is gonna be three minus root five over three minus root five. So it's the same as the denominator that we have to begin with, uh, but the sign is flipped. Now it's not immediately obvious why we do this, but let's just follow the process out and multiply these fractions together. So let's first multiply the numerators together. So we've got five times three minus root five, and we're dividing this by three plus root five times three minus root five. So let's go on to the next line here. So we've got five times three, which is 15, and five times root five, sorry, minus root five, which gives us minus five root five. So we're dividing that by three, uh, sorry, three plus root five times three minus root five. So we're gonna use the FOIL method for expanding double brackets. So let's write up here, three plus root five, three minus root five. We'll do the expansion up here. Uh, so three times three gives us nine. Three times minus root five gives us minus three root five. And then root five times three gives us plus three root five, and then root five times minus root five gives us minus five. So this is gonna be our denominator here. So let's rewrite that in a simplified form. So we've got nine minus three root five plus three root five. So here, at the minus three root five and three root five cancel. So we're left with nine minus five. So we can simplify this again. This is equal to uh, 15 minus five root five over four. And we're almost there, uh, but we can take out a factor from the top here of five. So we've got five lots of three minus root five over four. So that's the simplified expression. And obviously we've removed the uh, thirds from the denominator. So we've rationalized the denominator of this expression. If you're feeling good about thirds and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. Uh, all of which are instantly marked so you get feedback straight away uh, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if this is something you're interested in you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.